Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Alright. Yesterday, July 23, an unstable filament of magnetism in the sun's southern hemisphere exploded. The blast hurled a bright and interestingly textured CME into space, shown in this video clip from the LASCOC2 filter. NOAA analysts are studying the CME now to determine if it has an Earth-directed component. Stay tuned. Also, notice the halo CME that occurred at the same time. Halo CME are most likely Earth-bound, unless it erupted on the far side of the Sun, which would give the halo effect with the energy moving in the opposite direction of the Earth. This one, looks Earth-bound at this time. On this HMI intensity gram map, of the Earth-facing side of the Sun, you can see that all the sunspot regions, are mostly on the right side of the Sun, thus the solar flares will be concentrated in that area. Here is a look at the Sun through three different SDO filters, 193, 94, and 171. New discovery called Steve. Arriving almost exactly on time, a CME hit Earth's magnetic field on July 23 at 2.59 Coordinated Universal Time. The impact sparked a G1-class geomagnetic storm with auroras from coast to coast in North America. At about 12 midnight, I noticed a familiar light purple vertical glow to the east, reports Greg Ash of Ely, Minnesota. It was Steve. Steve is actually not an aurora. The purple-colored arc is the glow from a supersonic river of gas, which flows through Earth's magnetosphere during some geomagnetic storms. Short for strong thermal emission velocity enhancement, Steve is a relatively recent discovery. Supernova A supernova is the biggest explosion that humans have ever seen. Each blast is the extremely bright, super-powerful explosion of a star. One type of supernova is caused by that last hurrah of a dying massive star. This happens when a star at least five times the mass of our sun goes out with a fantastic bang. Massive stars burn huge amounts of nuclear fuel at their cores, or centers. This produces tons of energy, so the center gets very hot. Heat generates pressure, and the pressure created by a star's nuclear burning also keeps that star from collapsing. A star is in balance between two opposite forces. The star's gravity tries to squeeze the star into the smallest, tightest ball possible. But the nuclear fuel burning in the star's core creates strong outward pressure. This outward push resists the inward squeeze of gravity. How dangerous are supernova explosions? A supernova explosion produces X-rays and blasts waves of fast particles that would render a planet like Earth uninhabitable if the explosion happened in its immediate galactic neighborhood. A near-Earth supernova is an explosion resulting from the death of a star that occurs close enough to the Earth, roughly less than 10 to 300 parsecs, 30 to 1,000 light years, away, to have noticeable effects on Earth's biosphere. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.